What is, hey, it's other channels. Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I wanted to do a little update on uh, my aquaponic testing. Um, I stopped, you know, doing videos on it and stuff because I wanted to kind of figure out the water, and I think I'm getting it. Um, I added some uh, chelated iron. If you watch the last probably three videos or so, um, I was at, I, I didn't have iron in it, and I was thinking I was getting an iron deficiency because all my plants were turning yellow. And then they were basically just falling to pieces. Um, and since I added the chelated iron, um, this plant, this tomato plant, let me put this bag down real quick. This tomato plant was from, um, this tomato plant was from basically when I had no chelated iron in the water. And the water's cleared up. That's another thing. When you add chelated iron, um, this one in particular, the E E D D H A chelated iron um, this one in particular see how it's red like that it actually turns the water like blood red um, make sure you don't add too much when you do it uh, read the label real good and uh, ask around on forums and stuff um, but anyways um, I had this plant from before and it was like almost dead and then um, I added that chelated iron to it and it started to root and um, the leaves, as you can tell, see if you look at the other plants that I put in versus this one, you can still see these are still a little yellow and it's not getting a whole lot of growth, this one in particular. Um, and it's weak too. I mean, it's, it's still weak from, uh, you know, from, the, uh, from when it didn't have any chelated iron in there. Um, but then I added this other tomato cutting um, a few days after I put the chelated iron in there. I added this and it rooted and it just went crazy so I, I would say I'm, I'm getting a success now um, anybody that knows about this stuff obviously tell me but I would say I'm getting success now in um, the water actually working um, you know the plants being able to take up nutrients and all that stuff uh, yeah, see it's work it's uh, the roots are coming out on these plants but it's it's holding its um, it's holding its basically nutrient level um, I think the leaves look pretty good on this tomato plant here. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm ready to actually start building, and I want to basically build some beds right here. I want to build, uh, you know, some uh, half barrel probably grow beds. And uh, so anyway, I'm still looking to see how to do this just right, you know, because uh, I don't want to put a bunch of money into a system and then. <laughs> and then have it uh, have it go haywire on me, you know. So I put some mint in here, and I'm gonna see if this mint and these tomato plants will actually take off, um, actually grow a lot of new leaves and stuff like that. Um, this one was actually growing uh, new foliage right here. This is new, and right down here, that's new as well. Okay, but I had a root system on it just before I started doing this video, and I accidentally cut it off. So, um, so I'm going to see if that'll grow back, but anyways, um, I just wanted to update you guys on this and get any kind of advice from any of you aquaponic guys out there that, uh, know tons more than I do. Um, but to me, I think it's working. The root system on this thing took off, I mean, super fast. Um, and it's, it's actually, it looks good. You know, the plant looks good. Um, I'm still going to wait for a while. I'm going to see what it does, but um, yeah, I think it's ready. So I want to build a couple planter beds here, like I said. So anyway, any comments, any questions that you may have for me to help me with this, um, post them below. Uh, I want to talk about this stuff cause I'm really getting excited about this. I mean, my, my gardens, I mean, it's just booming. Uh, look at that big old watermelon or pumpkin right there. So you see it. <laughs> and then I got, uh, well, I'm not going to take you too far into my garden here, but I got a bunch of stuff growing back here. Pumpkins, to potatoes, tomatoes all on the back wall over there, over there. Um, these are all mammoth sunflowers, you know, and I've uh, got my zooks, of course. Look at the leaves are already turning down there, but uh, I have videos on how to fix that stuff. So, anyways, God bless you guys and peace.